Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Wednesday, May 24th, 2023. Yesterday was a fairly active day for showers and thunderstorms, especially here over northeast Nevada, up into southeast Idaho, and across um, much of Utah. Fire activity remains very minimal. Uh, we did have a larger fire there in, in southern Idaho a few days ago, which was largely wind-driven, and we do have some prescribed fire activity going on out there. Precipitation for the past seven days is shown here. Uh, generally dry, except for yesterday. We, we have started to see some precipitation yesterday, but that's not um, shown in this image. So generally dry across much of the northern two-thirds of the area for the past seven days. In fact, average to below average in those areas. Um, but here across the southern portion of the Great Basin and down into the southwest, we did have above normal precipitation for the time of year, which right now is generally a, a dry time of year uh, across these areas. But we did see that, um, I call it a monsoon-like pattern for a few days there. This morning satellite imagery is showing an area of low pressure across the Pacific Northwest. This is increasing southerly flow over um, the Great Basin and, and um, enhancing some thunderstorm coverage once again today really through the next few days into the first part of the weekend. So for this afternoon, again, that low pressure system dropping into uh, the, the, the um, Nevada-California border here, that's going to really enhance or continue to enhance the probability of thunderstorms and showers in that area today. Um, significant fire potential, of course, is low. So for today, the, the main area, if there is an area of any concern, it would be these strong winds out ahead of that low over far eastern Nevada and western Utah, where these areas are a little bit on the drier side and may not see um, may not see a significant amount of thunderstorm activity in, in these areas. Probability of precipitation shown on the right here, again looking for much of northern and central Nevada to see some um, good showers and thunderstorms up into central and eastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and then across northern Utah once again today as well. On Thursday, more of the same, that low pressure system remains in place over western Nevada, keeping the moisture in place and, and the, the potential for thunderstorm development in generally those same areas. Uh, fire potential remains low. If we look at the minimum relative humidity here on the left, uh, um, pretty dry air mass across southern Nevada and portions of southern and southeast Utah, um, where, where we're just not seeing much of that moisture in place. And the probability of precip still remains high on Thursday for Idaho, northern Nevada, Wyoming, and um, the mountains of northern Utah. Still more of the same on Friday as that low remains in place. Uh, another good chance for thunderstorms um, in the forecast there. The low hangs around on Saturday for continued thunderstorms over mostly Nevada with some drying over Utah. On Sunday, the low drives a little bit further south, um, continuing to enhance some, some thunderstorm activity there in Nevada, drying across the east. And more of the same on Monday. Finally, by Tuesday, the low will begin to make its way eastward, um, decreasing the chance for thunderstorms and drying atmosphere even in Nevada. Seven-day precipitation totals are shown here. Um, really just the same trend in the extended as we're looking for in the short term with, with that low sitting in place over, over western Nevada, keeping thunderstorms in, in the forecast through really through the next five or so days. As we look at the extended forecast through May from May 31st to June 6th, we can see above normal temperatures are forecast for much of the northern two-thirds of the region uh, with above normal chances for precipitation continuing uh, across the geographic area. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back on Monday for the latest updates.